Good morning. Welcome to another morning of flat light and very little to do photographically. Um, I thought what I would do uh, while I'm waiting for hopefully the light to rise uh, and uh, just so you know, this is like a Sunday, which I don't normally come out on. Uh, I do have Monday planned because allegedly it's going to be okay in the morning to get some, you know, get some compositions. <laughs> so I thought what I'll do is I'll pop into the local woodland, save me a bit of fuel and do a gear video. I'm going to show you what I bring out on my, uh, my morning runs. Now I carry a lot of gear that, uh, if you're just doing photography, you're not going to need. So I will, I will let you know what's in the bag. Uh, but most of the stuff beyond the camera, the filters, the tripod, the bag is superfluous. If you're just doing photography, it's only if you're doing these vlogs and that would be a separate video, I think, uh, because that's going to be microphones and all kinds of video recording equipment. So first off, let's start with the bag. Uh, this is a Low Pro uh, 450, I think it's AW um, Tactic. Uh, and this, I've got about five camera bags because it took me to this one to figure out this is the one I want to use for my, you know, sort of weekly photography. It's absolutely fantastic. It's really tough. Uh, it's got loads of uh, webbing on it for attaching different things to it. Uh, and I've got it open at the moment because it's just easier for me but if i just show you the front there you go loads of places to put stuff you can stick your tripod in the front or at the side uh, i've got all these extra little uh, bags on there one for my flask uh, one for my jacket uh, that's just a waterproof although they said it won't rain today but i don't trust the weather reports um and then there's a pack at the side there and that's got like snacks and tea bags and that kind of thing and so that that's just little picket bits uh opens up at the front here so you can dob in and pick your stuff up but I'll, I'll go into that from the other side yeah something's just fell out oh there we go uh so it, it's uh one of those that opens from the back I've seen loads of photographers with this actually. I mean, I, I bought this a while back, so I like to think that they all copied me, um, but uh, they probably didn't. But yeah, loads of people have had this. And I've seen a bag someone else is carrying that I'm quite interested in. And the reason being, again, is this would be more than substantial for what I would need to, to just take photographs. But with all the other crap that I've got, it, you know, I just want more room. So anyway, what's in here? Let's take a look. Right, first off, let's start with the camera. So I use, uh, at present, a Canon 5DS. Uh, it's a big boy, it's a DSLR, 50 megapixel, which is kind of its selling point. Uh, this has been fantastic to use and still is. Uh, I had use of an R5. Uh, I didn't really get to use it because of the weather, but you know, I, the one morning I had with it, it was pretty cool. Uh, but I did find that most of what I got, got out from the, using the R5 was quality of life stuff. You know, everything was just super easy. The menus are great, touch drag, insta focus, that kind of thing. Um, but as far as taking great photographs, well, this does. In fact, not only does this take great photographs, so does the Canon M50 that's recording this video right now. And so does my iPhone. Um, okay, the iPhone's not in the same league, but it, it can allow you to take good compositions is what I'm saying. Um, so Canon 5DS, this is currently with me everywhere I go for serious photography. And then if I just need something for snaps, uh, well, not just snaps, but you know, I, I just want to carry a camera and, and not all of the gear, then I'll take the M50. And also the video on this is shocking. <laughs> so the M50 definitely wins on that. Um, I bring with me normally uh, three lenses. This is the workhorse. This is a uh, Sigma 24-105. Um, I've got a variable ND filter on the end of there. Uh, more on that shortly. Uh, but this is my workhorse. Uh, the 24 uh, for the wide angle stuff, which I don't do a lot of, um, or at least I don't at the moment. And then it's got that nice uh, sort of up to 100 mil. You've got to be careful of the vignetting at the extreme end, you know, but yeah, th this is a good little, um, suitable for all 
you know, it's good for the trails and it's good for the epic vistas, that kind of thing. Because the other one I use is the trusty, let me just get that out, 70 to 200. Okay, uh, this is a proper cannon, so, you know, about as good as it's going to get in this range. F4, uh, same as the Sigma. Um, do you need, you know, faster lenses uh, with greater uh, depth of field for landscape photography? Not really. F4 is fine. Uh, good, in fact, I would say. I think if you're, if you're doing subject shots where you want to have that, um, you know the bokeh at the back and that kind of thing then yeah sure you know try and get something but that's very expensive they really start moving up in price so i think you would genuinely want to have a day-to-day -day need or at least a photography session to photography session need for a lens like that for landscape photography if that's all you're doing if you're photographing dogs and people and stuff like that then you're sure uh, but this uh, f4 7200 absolutely fantastic um uh, the the canon 5ds is a full frame so I, I get basically all of the picture in and uh, of course you can zoom in nicely and you can use this if you've got distance behind you to step away from your subject to get a very good depth of field as well so highly recommended uh next it's in here somewhere yep down there uh so this is the one i play with a lot and this is the the nifty 50 the 50 mil uh, so this does have, you know, like I think it's 1.8 aperture on it. Um, I love this lens for all kinds of things. So I'll generally, if I'm going to take a lens and I can't be taking all the big stuff, this is what I'll take. Uh, uh, really, really good and great for trail work because I'm normally, you know, on a trail, uh, especially around the peak, you're normally walking where one side is like a drop and then the next the bit next to you is a hill so you've only got that sort of a couple of meters either side to work with so this can be produce really great results and it's not often that you need a really wide angle on a trail uh, so yeah canon uh, 50 mil 1.8 aperture absolutely cracking that is my lenses so they're the three um if i had to leave one behind i'd probably leave the 7200 but i would regret it i would regret it now what else is in here uh, filters so i've got a little bag of filters do keep them in something like this i've, I've cracked so many filters from just shoving them in pockets hello dogs hello hi mate all right hello hello Right, I can't help myself. <laughs> so, um, proper, proper dog walking spot this. So yeah, keep your filters safe. I, I, I crack too many from just being reckless and careless with them. Uh, but I've got a bunch in here. One of the downfalls of having three different lenses is you need, you know, unless you've got step up rings and that kind of thing, three different um, types of ND filter or sizes of ND filter, it is annoying. So I've seen a lot of the, uh, the pros are using the slide-in filters, so it'll fit right in front, you just put anything in. I might consider that, I think it seems the next logical step, uh, but there's cash involved. I'm not a rich man. Uh, I have these with me, and so I take them. So as long as you keep them in here, and they're a little bit awkward now and then to switch out, but yeah, not a big deal. What ND filters do I use? Well, I use ND variable filters for a start. Um, I know some people poo-poo them, but mine work. What can I say? They work. Um, yeah, uh, they work for me. Can be a little bit awkward at the extreme ends, you know, especially when you're going into the really, really like the uh, 10 stop and beyond, it can get a bit awkward. Um, I, you know, honestly, I would say, other than spare batteries, and that's another thing today, I left my batteries at work bar one. <laughs> so I've only got one battery with photography, which is why I've stayed local. Um, spare batteries. I take at least three. I, I just think you should. Um, there's nothing worse than, I mean, just imagine if today the light suddenly lifted and I'm only gonna, you know, gonna get like half an hour of photography out of it. That would be terrible. So take spare batteries. Oh, the, of course, must mention it, the other camera that goes in this bag, but it's currently 
staring at me is the Canon M50. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's an entry level mirrorless. Uh, I think it's wonderful for what it does. Yes, it does have shortcomings, uh, has a wicked crop factor on video, but for things like this, absolutely fine. Uh, but it can get you used to the sort of next level of technology if you've been using a DSLR. So, you know, uh, Canon M50, absolutely great. I have the kit lens with it, which is 15 to 45 mil, but I also have the adapter that allows me to put these EF lenses on it. Again, an additional crop on that, and it is an APS uh, for, uh, sensor too. So, you know, it's like, don't, 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 don't. But, you know, it works in a pinch. Uh, tripod, well, I've got a Manfrotto that it's standing on that uh, maybe show you, I'll edit it in or something, but I've got the Manfrotto there, uh, which is good and light. I don't know what make it is, I bought it second hand, but um, it's really stiff. The ball head is really, really stiff and I'm, I'm not a weak bloke. So if I'm struggling with it, I don't know, it's, uh, I'm going to get another one is what I'm saying. So I'm on the lookout for a new tripod. Recommendations, absolutely, please do fire them my way. I need something lightweight. Um, it doesn't have to be too tall. I don't, I don't need them up here above my head. I'm, I'm not a hobbit, but you know, I, I can do all right. Um, all right, so other than lens cloths and lens cleaner, they are the essentials for when I come out. Okay, if I'm just going to do photography, I've got camera, lenses i've got spare batteries to be honest i'm done but i take a lot more than that so uh let's start with the drone if you're doing vlogging um you know it looks nice if you can do some drone shots but it's getting more and more uh twitchy on drone regulation they seem to be changing every year uh and i you know i've done the little online test and that kind of thing um and it's all registered and it's you know it's got my name and address on it through the qr code but it's it's getting more awkward and i do see a time in the not too distant future where it's going to be very difficult to legally operate a drone which is a real shame because i don't see you know even once a month problem reports of uh, morons using drones people seem to be pretty you know safe with them uh, i've seen a few flying them over reservoirs and that kind of thing which is not something you want to do because the batteries go in the water but um, you know by and large i think people are, are all right with it they're not super annoying they're only up in the air for 20 minutes uh, and that's you know that's if you absolutely nail the battery which you wouldn't do you'd probably do about 10 minutes and then make sure you've got enough time to come back anyway so i've got my drone what do i use i've got a dji mavic air 2 uh, I also have a Mavic Mini, and I've used it three times. Don't ask. Uh, but yeah, I mean, oh, it's very good, by the way. I mean, it's the picture quality is superb, but it doesn't quite have the, the macho of this. This can handle much higher winds. Uh, I, I do think it's a bit, you know, it's a bit steadier. Uh, it's definitely got more... Uh, software functions and the sensors work well and this has flown into walls in the peak district you know like granite walls so it's pretty tough for a drone i've changed the props a few times so i bring this and two spare batteries um i don't actually i have got nd filters for it but i don't ever use them i've just not found the cause uh, then i'm not making wedding videos or anything so the drone comes with me i have uh, a DJ, I'm a right DJI boy at the moment. I've got a DJI OM5. Uh, I, thought, I saw they bought another one out. I just didn't need it. This, this does the job. And I think there comes a point when your kit does the job. Don't start getting all FOMO about wanting something new or bigger or better. Um, if you want to <clears throat> make more elaborate videos, then, you know, okay, you're going to need more gear. Uh, but this, this is great. And I use this with my iPhone and it's superb. It does the job. Uh, highly recommended. You, you, I mean, if you're going to buy one, buy the new one. But if you can get one of them cheap, get one of them cheap. But we'd have to be substantially cheaper, not to, because they're not super expensive. Uh, okay, so gimbals. Um, oh yeah, so alongside. Well, let's stick with video recording gear. So I have the iPhone, which is fantastic. iPhone 14 Pro I use, but I've also got a. 
the DJI Action 3, uh, which is just sat on a tree stump over there for multi-angle shots. I don't know why, I just thought I'd do it. Uh, but I also, because I have no control over my spending, I also bought the GoPro 11. And the reason was, I couldn't make my mind up which one I wanted, watched loads of videos, ended up buying both. I was going to send one back and didn't. So I also have a GoPro. Um, I can tell you one thing, uh, and I will do a proper video on this uh, this gear because I have used it, you know, a lot, and I think I'm real. I like a dab hand with it now. But the batteries in the GoPro are not good compared with the DJI Action Three. The, the batteries in this get annihilated. But that's about the only negative. Mm, there's another negative thing about it. It's to do with money. But yeah, okay. So that's one thing. Battery life. Um, I've got two batteries for the GoPro uh, 11. I've got three for the DJI. Do you know what? I won't talk about it anymore because I could do a whole video on these things. And I will, if, that, if you would like to see it. Do let me know in the comments if you'd like to know uh, how these have worked for me. So that's the video record recording equipment. The sound is I've got the Rode Wireless 2. So that's what I'm using right now. This is a bit of a last chance saloon for this piece of kit because I've not been happy with my road um, not for a long time the sound quality is very good I have to say but oh the battery reporting it simply lies to you and I've come out on many a trip and ended up with no sound because the lie of the battery uh, telling me it was full and it wasn't and you know it, it significantly not full so big issues with that uh, but we'll see how this does today. Uh, but what I did buy was the DJI wireless mics. And this is fantastic. And again, this is why it needs a video of its own. But this comes with its, its own case that's a charging case that you can use to charge other things as well. Um, two mics, the receiver, which is currently on the other piece of kit. Uh, adapters, everything you need. It's right there. The only thing you can't do is fit the uh, dead cat in. I think that's an oversight. But not only that, if you buy the Creator Kit, you also get this um, three batteries, uh, complete with a charging box, which is really slim, and you know it can just slide it in there. And again, this will charge other items as well. So if my iPhone starts dropping, I can just plug it into this and get some juice. Fantastic. Uh, I've got numerous bits and bobs, like remotes and that sort of stuff. Rarely use them. Um, I couldn't tell you when I've used a remote in the last six months possibly longer um numerous wires dead cats uh i'm often by waterfalls uh you can be in great woodland and right next to you is a busy main road so cutting as much of that out before you hit the processing software is great highly recommended where else have we got uh so we got that we got that we got that yeah uh, i carry this little low pro pack and in here, I just keep odds and sods. So there's a few more wires. There's some headache tablets, um, ND filter for the drone, and I've got one for the gimbal. Uh, a little, uh, what do you call it? A little, not tripod, but grip for the iPhone. A spare one. I've got another one as well. Uh, spare Arca plates um, and cables, that kind of thing. So, yeah, bits and bobs go in there. It's not very often I have to use that. Uh, in here, there's normally a lot more, but I keep food in here. I keep a, that's a landing pad for the drone because you need decent surface. And often I'm working on either very uneven surface or where there's lumps and bits of uh, straw or grass or briar sticking out. So this just flattens everything out nice. Drone can land nice and safely. Uh, I always have a bit of food in my bag as well. I don't know why, but it's one of them, you know, heat them up meals. It's always in here, I've always got one. Never eat them. Um, not when I do photography, just flat photography. I've got, uh, this is great. I saw Courtney Victoria show one of these off. This is uh, like a little spidery grip tripod. Well, it's not a tripod, it's a grip for uh, action cam. So it can, it's, it's actually a GoPro thing, but of course you can use anything with it. And this is terrific because you can wrap it around fences and branches and that kind of thing. Had a lot of use out of this. So uh, thank you, Courtney Victoria, for recommending that gear. The things you see in these gear videos, you see, can be inspired. Um, 
I've got an Amazon affiliate link for all this stuff. I think I'm, I don't think I've ever had anything from it, but I'll pop my links in the description if you want any of this gear. But more importantly, I think if you want to know more about it, let me know, and I'll I'll do a more in you know a more intense video on recording equipment because there's a lot of money in this stuff, and I think buying the right gear the first time will really help you out. Um, I'll just suck it up. And I think that's it really. Yeah, that's the little bag for the, the road. So it's got, it's got all the gear in there. They don't take up a lot of room, which is nice. Extra cables, that kind of thing. But yeah, I think me and road are probably gonna fall out. I do also have with me, I've, I've only sort of recently started doing this. I got one of these um, bags for the camera for when I'm walking. Now, as you probably know, I, I got one of the, uh, what you call it, the plates, so you can have a camera hanging down. And I just, the uh, the 5DS is huge. And when you stick a lens on, it's like, ah, oh, no, I, it just didn't feel comfortable. But with the M50 on, that's absolutely fine because it's super lightweight, stinky. So, so I'll tend to have the M50 on a plate and the big camera, goes in here if I need my hands free. This is superb. This is um, a think tank bag. Um, it's super tough. It's really good. It's got lots of little pockets. But what I actually do is I, I keep uh, all my little, I've got like extra tripods. Again, all video work. I've got extra tripods in here. For some reason, um, that's the receiver for the DJI. Lucky that didn't snap. Um, this is great. So I'll use that for all the little tripods. And then when I need to put the camera in here i just whiz these out and i stick them in one of these side pockets here so that works for me um i always bring no matter i mean maybe in the, the heart of summer i won't bring a waterproof but normally i've got a waterproof there um i always have a hat like always even in the summer there's a hat in my bag uh maybe not this woolly one but there's some kind of hat because hats aren't just to keep your head warm they just keep the sun off your eyes as well always have a hat and that's about it i would say that's my gear for any given day out okay and that, that's a full day i'm not including things like food and drink i do have a flask there you know i say so but again stoves and all that sort of stuff it i used to bring them out but not anymore now i just have a, a flask a really good flask I've got a stanley flask i think no thermos I've got a thermos flask because i had a new one uh, and it's quite dinky. It's got enough hot water in for two mugs and it's really hot, like six hours later and it's steaming hot. So it's great. Uh, again, I'll do a couple of close-ups of these things, edit it into the video. So there you go. That's my gear. Uh, I hope that's interesting to you. Uh, if, please, if you've got questions about any specific bit of gear or anything that I've not talked about that you think, well, he must have that with him, um, ask i've probably forgotten i'm not a young man and uh, hopefully the next video you see will be more photography uh, on a beautiful morning and there'll be light and joy and leaves and, uh, and a miserable stokey delivering it see you soon